Hi, my name is Eden Favreau, and this is my Global Ethics Final Synthesis Project. I'm focusing on voice assistants. Um, voice assistants are digital assistants who use voice recognition, sentence synthesis, and natural language processing to provide services through particular applications. Here are the three most common, and I'm focusing on Siri. Um, some positives are that they're actually really cool. They can make calls and texts for us, but here I've listed some negatives, and on a deeper level, these are the top three negatives I want to talk about. How often are our devices listening to us? Is this an invasion of privacy, and is this, and is this technology of voice assistance ethical? I chose this topic because oftentimes I'm having conversations with my friends or family and then Siri just pops up when I'm not even trying to talk to her. And another one is on social media. I'll be talking about things I want, especially during Christmas time. This is a two minute span of my Instagram. I got three ads of things that I have wanted for Christmas. Um, some moral considerations at play are, are our voice assistants able to make moral decisions for us? Do they even understand what morals are? And some political um, considerations are, is our liberty to freedom of speech and privacy being violated? Are other people listening to our conversations and should everyone have access to these devices? Moral philosopher. Um, moral philosophy is the branch of philosophy that is, um, that involves in creating, defending, and recommending concepts of right and wrong behaviors of thinking. It is the study of meaning and justification of moral claims, and these moral claims evaluate the rightness or wrongness of an action or our character. I focused on Adam Smith, and he wrote the theory of moral sentiments, where he talked about impartial spectator, and the impartial spectator is a real or imaginary person that helps us make decisions based on um, our emotions, and they lead us to what is right and wrong. Um, I believe Adam Smith may think that the voice assistants are a new type of impartial spectator. Um, and what is, um, and our relationship with our voice assistants is getting to be too common. Are we becoming friends with them? Political for philosopher. Um, so political philosophy is the study of political ideas and values, including liberty, justice, property, power, rights, laws, law enforcement, and democracy that we use to understand and address political practices. In a just society, um, everyone has individual rights, rights and liberties. So I'm focusing on Robert Nozick. He's a 20th century American philosopher, and he focuses um, on the justice of holding of property. He believes that um, we, are entitled to certain things and he calls this the entitlement principle if we work for what we want if we work hard we will get what we deserve um, and he has a big emphasis on property rights so here is a right from robert nozak individuals have rights and they are the, and they are things no person or group may do to them um, without violating their rights <laughs> Robert Nozak would respond to the voice assistant by thinking more of the device itself. So thinking about, um, this is my property. I, I'm buying an item that has a voice assistant. I should know what the power and role of the voice assistant is, rather than thinking about the moral and ethical principles. Okay, so for what should we do? I would not consider Siri, Alexa, or Google Assistant to be um, impartial spectators like Adam Smith would, because they can't they can't answer those in depth moral um, questions that our conscious can answer. They can only answer yes or no things or things that they've been programmed to say. Um, we have to rely on ourselves. Um, I disagree with Robert Nozick. Yes, the phone and the computer and the iPad or whatever are our personal property, but that. And I believe you work for that and then you get that, but um, our devices are, are, these devices should not be taking away other liberties like freedom of speech and privacy rights. So um, I think they're cool, but I don't find them very helpful. I rarely use Siri. I honestly would shut her off. I She's kind of freaky <laughs> looking. I, and I just wonder if she can hear my calls, my texts, my FaceTimes and all that other stuff. Um, here's some cute little designs that I made of Siri examples. And overall, um, here are my key points. Um, I believe voice assistants are invasion privacy. I don't think that they can help us make moral decisions. 
um, property is earned, but they should not take away other rights. And I would be okay with devices that did not have voice assistant. And here are my citations. Thanks for listening and thanks for an awesome year.